MTV Multivac fans, in my last flash analysis video, which you can watch hitting this link right here, my super scooper box, which was the lowest price target, which I guarantee 95 plus percent of you didn't think price was going to hit it. Well, guess what? Price is 20 plus percent below my super scooper box, which means I didn't prepare you well enough for a flash crash analysis. And I take this shit very seriously. So I want to give you three boxes which two of them I think is probable you don't need to worry about, but I'm going to show them to you anyway. So don't be scared on this video. Rather, I simply want to prepare you for things that I don't think are probable to happen. And then I'm going to give you one EMA that you can say, hey, emotional check mark. We're probably upward and on from here. Are you ready to see what I'm about to show you? You better be. Let's get it. These three boxes you need to draw in your chart. I have them labeled very specifically. The bottom line is the first number in each of these boxes. I know it sounds and looks totally crazy, but this is what would happen. I, and it's not an if. It is a very highly probable. If Bitcoin decides to do something like gold and range here for a year plus, and it hits 30K and just ranges, 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 maybe comes up here, comes back down to the range, something like that. If it or any version of that, if it just ranges down here in this box, if it ranges in the bleed box for anything more than a V-shaped correction, okay, so not counting V-shaped correction touching the bottom, if it ranges in here, that means multivac will, it, it will hit the yellow box. If this was a double top, which I don't think is probable, I don't think it's probable, I'm preparing you for worst case. OK, don't I don't think it's probable. I can't say that enough. However, if that was the top, Bitcoin's going to correct 80 plus percent. So 80 percent would be about here and 85 ish normal correction would be about here. I think every cycle, even though I think the cycles are going to be longer, as I've been saying since probably April. I think Bitcoin will correct less and less on a percentage basis, which is the trend, right? So I think this time it would probably hit market cycle top or come up shy because I think there are too many freaking buyers in Bitcoin. Um, I honestly think this box might be too low, but statistics in the chart say this box actually will be hit. So if this was the top, which I don't think is probable, Bitcoin will likely capitulate here, which means in that case, MTV, which I'm about ready to show you, will hit its red box. So I'm essentially saying if Bitcoin red box, then MTV red box. If Bitcoin yellow box, then MTV yellow box. That's all I'm saying here. All right, so let's go back to the MTV chart and hopefully you have taken the time to have paused the video and draw these in. All right, so these are the three levels. I don't want to be going in here waxing philosophically about, you know, oh, you know, how here's how you play the range. I hope that we don't have to worry about those two bottom boxes. I really, I, I don't think we're going to have to. So I'm not going to go in, but what I am going to go into is this. I want to show you one single EMA that you need to draw in and maybe modify on a daily basis and then play with the smaller candles with that EMA drawn in that remains even though you switch time frames. And I want to show you when you can have an emotional check mark and things to look out for from there. But before we do that, make sure you flip your phones or get flipped off. Your phone is horizontal. I know it is. It's maximized. So make it vertical. Hit the like button and also make sure you've hit that bell. And if you're new, subscribe, hit that bell because it's time sensitive information. I can't deliver time sensitive content without you hitting the bell. And also make sure you follow me on Twitter. I give a lot of updates out there at Costas Verdes with the number two afterward. You can check out the link to it in my description section. Costas Verdes 2. Let's jump in back into the charts and let me show you that EMA that I am talking about. Chit, what? Chit, what EMA was I going to use for this? Was it the 12 hour 21? Nope. The daily 10 EMA. I made so many videos today that this is a bleed box. Shit, my brain deserves to be in the bleed box. But here's how you play this. Let's define that as you have a statistical chance. So 51% plus chance that things will be upward and onward from here. So let's take off price. So once price goes below the red line, it price bumps its head on this or like a prairie dog pops its head. But then there's some person playing the game where you pop the prairie dogs on the head. Somebody smacks the prairie dog up on average three times. You know what I'm talking about. You played those arcade games as a kid or perhaps as an adult. So whenever multivac or pretty much almost all assets fall below that 10 EMA, pop its head back up, uh, the prairie dog is hit. Second attempt, prairie dog was hit. It failed. Third attempt, it closed three candles above 
and that is pretty much the target. So at that point, you had a statistically likelihood that you know MTV was going to be breaking out. You had three closures, but Bitcoin ruined the party. So now you have to reset the count. Those three don't count anymore. It was probably done correcting. So had had Bitcoin gone up, MTV would have been so ready to make all time highs. It was ready. This is why I keep trying to tell you Bitcoin is the primary indicator of all of your altcoins. Did I get this Bitcoin dip right? Hell no, I didn't. Right. But most dips aren't some whale game flash crash, stupid crap like this. So but if in the future, the mental note to be making is if my altcoin is having a normal correction and seems done. Right. OK, good. Check. Bitcoin has, you know, bearish divergence on this. And Cosas Verdes is saying, shit, you might want to be taking profits now, all that stuff. Well, guess what? Your coin's going to get a double correction on top of its previous correction. And that's what's happening here. So make sure you don't forget this type of play in the future because strong coins often have a big rally and then they have a natural correction while Bitcoin's just chilling. And if that all happens and it's been correcting for 45 days and then Bitcoin drops, it's going to succumb. It will happen. So make sure you don't forget about this in the future. It's really important. And again, shame on me. I did not prepare everybody well enough for this. So what's probably going to happen? Prairie dog number one, prairie dog number two, prairie dog number three gets above on the fourth, something like that. Or it could, you know, get above on the third. Does it have to make lower lows each time? No, it does not. You can make higher lows and lower highs. That's just forming a nice triangle that can happen too. So it's regardless of how the lows are formed. It's just the first two times that it pops its head. Somebody, you know, sellers are going to bash that prairie dog back into its hole. It draw in the daily 10 EMA. So I would draw it in with your brush tool, which is this so where my cursor's hanging around, this carrot looking thing, draw it in. And again, depending on how price moves, you'll have to redraw this once a day because the ink, the slope changes, right? So if you get a bullish move in price, the slope of that will change and you'll have to redraw it for that day. Am I making sense here? So on a daily scale, you'll have to redraw that. However, the power of this is by taking off the EMA, going to the one hour chart. So if you watch my veracity video, same thing, same thing, but it holds true. And this is true for Bitcoin. It doesn't freaking matter. Once, once one hour candles can get above the one day 10 EMA, and then the Stokes can go all the way down and curl. I mean, what I mean all the way down is they hit that line. See that, that juncture there? And they curl back up. So two conditions. Hits the line, then curl back up. While one hour candles refuse to go back below that, that means you have blackjack odds or roughly a 50% chance that you can have an emotional check mark. Still using Bitcoin as your primary indicator. Bitcoin will ruin the party. Bitcoin can give this a triple correction. It can happen. When do your odds get better? Is when the two hour candles do the same thing. So once the one hour hits, the two hours only here. It's it's nose diving. Closer to a 60% chance if two hours can get all the way down, hit the bottom of the stoke area and curl back up while pro two hour candles refuse to go lower than the 10 EMA of the daily that you've drawn in is it will allow you to have better expectations, which will allow you to manage your emotions, which will allow you to stick around in crypto enough to see the glory happen. If you can't, if you don't have something in the charts, something tangible to see to help base your emotions off of, then you're going to freaking leave crypto and you're not going to see this shit fly up. To, if you don't have a way to manage your emotions, you're going to leave crypto and you're not going to be here to see it. So if you want to learn how to play dips a little bit better and make more money in crypto, you're going to want to click this next video here. And if you're new to crypto, new to my channel, and you still don't know how to set up a chart, you need to watch this video here. Put the 45 minutes in. It's the cost of tuition for your education. Make sure you do it. You're going to make so much more money in crypto. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, click this freaking circle that's over here. Click it. Click it now. All right. You just got timified.